name's George. This is my van, the uh, Shred Shed. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash, and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. This is a uh, 2020 Mercedes van, 170 wheelbase, high roof Sprinter. I work out on the water half the year, so and I didn't want to spend money on rent for the half of the year that I'm out at sea. So I was like, hey, might as well just have a car payment. Now I'm living in a van. So all the wood in here is uh, pine, maple. This here is cherry. It's all reclaimed wood. So me and my dad will go to different people's houses and cut clear trees for people for free or we'll get them at job sites and stuff and we bring them to a sawmill in Maine and we'll get them cut into boards so that's where you get all this uh, saw marks and all this wood and then we'll bring them back to our house and then we'll plane them cut them however we want to use them and then we just nail tack nailed them up onto the plywood so right here as you in the doorway we got a little shoe cubby here uh, it's this whole this whole section here is all the shoe cubbies on the step there. And then on the countertop here, we got the flip up countertop. It's got 350 pound slides on it, or latching slides there. And we got the remote control for the lights. Turn on the lights here or turn them off from right here. And then I got my diesel heater uh, control panel right here. And then down here, we got our the outlet for it. And that's tapped into the diesel tank on the van. Right here we got a uh, two burner propane cooktop. I got a uh, 20 pound propane tank in the back of the van in the, in the garage. So then I got the hose running all the way through the van up to here. Where the tank is located, I got a vent through the floor and it's all sealed. So if it does leak, it will drain out through the bottom of the van. So right here, I got my uh, control panel in the galley here. I got USB ports and then I got a cigarette lighter there. Uh, then I got my shower light switch, my under cabinet light switch, and then my water pump switch. And then here I got a swivel head, hot and cold water. I got a two and a half gallon water heater. Got filtered water here. Cutting board comes out and put real deep sink. Probably I think it's 17 inches by 12 inches and then 12 inches deep. Honestly, I think it's the perfect size sink. I got a five gallon water, gray water tank for the uh, sink here drains right into there um and then i have a valve that goes out through the floor right here we got an isotherm it's a 65 liter so like the smaller one that they have regular door open uh all i have in there is beer right now because i had just got back in the van uh but i could hold for one person you could easily have a week's worth possibly even two weeks of worth of food in there uh, it's got a little freezer so i'm able to freeze a couple pounds of meat in there. Down below here, I got my pots and pans drawer. So I got like my cast iron, pot, skillet, wok, all that sort of stuff in there. And then right here I got my utensil drawer. These are all like soft clothes drawers. So they all latch pretty good. They, don't, they won't fly open while driving. So this is a piece of cherry for the countertop. It's one entire piece of wood. We got the live edge running all the way down the whole side here. Up here, we got my battery monitor. It's a Ren&G battery monitor. And then I got my Ren&G inverter switch right here so I can just flip it on. And then I got my AC power. And so up here, we got our overhead cabinets. This is again, another whole piece of cherry that we cut. So the live edge continues the whole way. These are all pushed open. We've got gas struts. This is just my pantry area. And then I've got all my clothes in the back ones here. Uh, on the ceiling here, we got this really artistic style design of an arrow. Uh, how we did this was we took an eighth inch plywood and screwed that to the ceiling. And then we got the center of the whole van and then we put the shaft of the arrow in. And then we basically built off of that 45 degree cut all the way forward. And then when we got to the uh, arrowhead, we built the arrowhead and mounted it up there 
and then we've cut the boards to fit around it and then we got our max air fan deluxe here so i decided to put a couch in i wanted somewhere to sit and i do have plans to get swivel seats here just so more people can sit around it i got a lagoon table mount here so the table spins and swivels the couch slides out into a second bed uh, it's pretty easy setup right here i got these uh, brackets the tabletop pops off it's got this little uh lip there it slides in here like this just slides out then underneath the couch i've got a little board that fits in right here just to cover that gap then you just do this and then i got two more cushions under the bed that fit right here so then you got a whole second bed you can sleep another person there Behind the couch here on the cushions, we've got some pine trees um, and another mountain down here. So this is all just like a green stain. Made the pine trees and then cut all these wood, these boards to fit into the pine trees themselves. It, took, it was a little bit of work, but it turned out great. So I got a shower right here. We got a Nautilus self-cleaning shower door um, I got all my jackets and stuff up here because like it does take up a lot of space so you might as well use it to storage st store stuff so I got like my ski gear jackets I got a uh, porta potty cassette toilet down here regular shower head it's got an on off so I can monitor my showers and I got a mixing valve here hot and cold water take hot showers all the time I got a gap here so when I am showering to get all the moisture out, I'll turn my aft fan on and then this forward fan. So that one's blowing in, this one's sucking out. So we get air circulation in here. So it sucks all that uh, moisture out of here. For me, my lifestyle, like a shower in here is a must. I ski a lot, I'm hiking all the time. So getting back into the van and being sweaty from being out skiing all day, it's nice uh, going in here, take a nice hot shower. And you can store all your wet gear in here. And then I got a seven gallon water tank underneath the van. Got a little valve down there so I can just go to any dump station, crack it, and just dump it out there. So right here, I got hanging storage. I put it in here because I have, I have a couple collared shirts. I don't really wear them that much, but I got them. But down here, got my spice rack. It's just on some wheels, caster wheels. Uh, so I got my spices and oils and stuff and then I got my toiletries on the bottom two shelves. Here on the door, uh, this is a doorway to the garage. I got a little step here that flips down so I can get up into bed. And then I got these vents so airflow can go under there into the garage to keep it dry in there. And I open it up, it gets, it's a mess back there right now. I haven't organized, but uh, I can take my skis right from uh, the shower and I got the rack set up back there. I can just throw them back there. I got my battery cutoff switch tucked right in here so I can shut the batteries off when I'm locking the van up before I go out on the boat. And the hot water heater's there as well so I can unplug that if I need to or plug it in. All right, so back here at the bed, we specifically designed it to have storage underneath, but also that you'd be able to sit up in bed um, and not bang your head off the ceiling and you could also fit a mountain bike underneath the bed as well I got a full queen-size mattress. It's a six inch memory foam just got off Amazon I got windows on both sides and then next to each side of the bed I've got a uh, two USB chargers and then two uh, reading lights got a Swivel I got a TV here a little 24 inch TV not quite sure how much power it uses I'm never looking at the battery monitor when it's in use. I've got 400 amp hours of uh, battery storage. I've got 300 watts of solar on the roof I've got a DC to DC charger So that's hooked up to the van battery. So when the van's running it'll charge the batteries and then I have a uh, shore power hookup so it's just a regular 120 volt uh, extension cord hookup on the outside of the van. So on the back doors here we got a mountainscape, uh, same building technique as the roof and all the walls. So it's just eighth inch plywood that we screwed into the metal 
and then uh, just nail gunned all this up and glued it. Um, and then when they're closed, um, it may, makes one mountainscape together. Back here in the garage, I got a 30 gallon water tank uh, fill up right here. Got my propane tank right here, little latches there. So I got all my ski gear here. These drawer slides, it slides out 60 inches, so I have a workbench. Thanks for uh, checking out my van. If you want to follow along on my adventures, uh, Instagram, shredshed underscore me. I hope to see you out on the road. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.